Welcome to a new lesson. In this lesson, we'll look at the failure scenarios in YARN framework. There can be the following failure scenarios in YARN framework. Task failure, application master failure, node manager failure, and lastly, resource manager failure. Task failure scenario is handled in very similar manner to the task failure in classic MapReduce. There can be code related issues like infinite loop. In that case, application master stops getting the progress updates and application master would wait for some time decided by the property mapred.task.timeout. It is the same as we saw in the classic MapReduce. After this time period, application master would mark the job as failed. Then there can be case of runtime errors or JVM failures, as we have seen in classic MapReduce. And the action taken in YARN is also the same. In case when map or reduce task fails, the failed task is retried on another machine and the number of reattempts made on the task would be decided by the property mapred.map.maxattempts and mapred.reduce.maxattempts. Both these properties have default value of 4. Just want you to notice that in classic map reduce, the property ended with max.attempts and in YARN, it ends with max attempts without a dot in between. After those many failures on the re-attempts, which is specified in these properties, the complete job would be marked as failed. In some jobs, which may process huge amount of data with hundreds of tasks, failure of some tasks is acceptable. And so failure of one or two job must not mark the complete job as a failure. For those cases, mapred.map.failures.max% and mapred.reduce.failures.max% would be the properties which would be set to decide the acceptable percentage failure of the map and reduce tasks respectively before declaring a job to be failed. Then comes the failure scenario of application master. In case the application master fails, the tasks that have run under it need not be resubmitted. They can be recovered. But by default, the recovery is not switched on. Property yarn.app.mapreduce.am.job.recovery.enable would be needed to be set for this feature to be turned on. The steps taken by Hadoop in case of failure of application master is on similar lines to the steps taken in case of task failures. When the application master fails, the resource manager stops getting the heartbeats from the application master. Resource manager recognizes that the application master has failed. Like in case of task failure, resource manager starts the application manager on a new container. If the recovery option is set, the statuses of the task is recovered and the execution of the job is continued. The number of reattempts on application master is determined by the property yarn.resourcemanager.am.max retries. Next, we look at the case where a node manager fails. If the node manager fails, it stops sending the heartbeats to resource manager. Resource manager waits for the node manager for a while considering the case it might have slowed down. If resource manager doesn't receive a heartbeat for a certain period of time, it assumes that node manager has crashed. If an application master was running under the failed node manager, the steps described in application master failures are followed. All the remaining tasks are respawned on a new node manager. If tasks under a specific node manager fail often and cross a threshold, the node is taken off from the available pool and is blacklisted. Blacklisting is a process to track the poorly performing nodes. This procedure is the same as we had discussed in task trackers in classic MapReduce. Resource manager failure is another failure and the most serious failure that can occur. Without this, neither the jobs nor the task containers can be launched. But in YARN, there is a little improvement. There is a mechanism put in place to recover from the crash. The checkpoint mechanism is put in the place, which is an improvement from the classic MapReduce framework, which had none. After the crash, a new resource manager instance is brought up by the administrator and it recovers from the last saved state. So the reruns of all the jobs is not required. At the end, I would just like to mention that 
Yan is an attempt to get closer to the Google's original MapReduce paper. Google had released papers but never had released the codes. So they are much more advanced than the rest of the world in Hadoop-like distributed computing technology.